Hey guys, it's Trey back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to take this channel on its first step into the cryptocurrency world. So basically on this channel, we haven't done anything with crypto yet. So what I want to do today is actually install the Web3 package and show you some of the things. So basically we'll just, let's see, some simple stuff. Uh, I guess we'll just create an account and um, yeah, let's just start off there. We'll create an account and probably do like some simple things with the Web3 package so you can see how you can interact with the Ethereum blockchain. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go install um, some stuff. So I'm going to go to my browser. The first thing we're going to need to do is uh, you just do a quick Google search for MetaMask. And let's just do Chrome. All right. And then it'll be this first one here. You click on that. And then you'll uh, there'll be like an add to Chrome or like an install button or something right here. Just click that do whatever setup you have to do to install metamask you should get like a little uh, icon up here all right so once you have that installed in chrome the next thing we're going to want to do is go to inferior.io and then we're going to sign up for an account here so just come down here click sign up fill out the information sign up like you do with any other website just sign in and then uh, once you finish signing up, you verify your email and all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and log in. All right. So once you're logged in, we're going to go ahead and create a new project. We're going to click on Ethereum as the product. And then I'm just going to call this tester. All right. So now we have this created. And then here on endpoints, we're going to go down to Robston. All right. This is going to be a test network. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this um, this first one here is HTTPS link right here. OK. All right. So now let me go ahead and kind of explain what's going on now that we're kind of set up. OK, so this MetaMask is basically a wallet that's on your browser. So basically it'll store all your accounts to um, your different you know blockchains and things like that so once you create an account you can add it in here and it'll keep track of how many coins you have and all that good stuff so this is what we're going to need because this will actually connect into the websites and you know allow you to do transactions and everything like that so we're going to install that for that purpose and then here on this inferior.io the reason why we wanted to do this is because we need an endpoint to connect to in order to connect to um basically the Ethereum network. So in order to connect to it, we need a way in. And this is what this is. It's basically a way to connect to it and get information to and from the actual blockchain. Okay. So once we create that, remember, copy that. And then now we can actually get into the code. So you can go ahead anywhere, you know, create your folder, wherever you want to create your project at. And then um, once you get in here, we're going to um, install NPM like we always do. So we're going to say NPM init-y. All right, so now we have set up our folder to use npm. Now we want to install the web3 package. So we're going to say npm i s web3, all lowercase. All right, once that is installed, we can go ahead and start our code. So I'm going to create a file called, let's just do server.js like we always do. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to click on that. And this is where we're actually going to uh, write in our code. So the first thing we want to do is import web three. So we're going to do that using require and then we'll do web three. I'm going to change this W on the, the name to be a capital W. All right. The next thing we want to do is actually set up our web three. Okay. So I'm going to say set up web three. Okay. So the, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a web three provider. So we're going to say const web three provider and then inside of here we're going to say new and we're going to say web three make sure you use the capital w because we're trying to use this object here and then we're going to say dot providers and then dot http provider okay and then inside of here we're going to paste that link that we copied from the inferior.io 
site okay so HTTP provider and then inside of there paste that in okay the next thing we want to do is actually create a web3 object using this provider okay so what we're going to do is we're going to say const web3 and then we'll say new web3 and then we'll pass in the web3 provider okay so that will get us a web3 object set up and connected to this node here okay the next thing we're going to want to do is create an account so this is one of the things that we can do with web3 so we're going to create a completely new account and then we're going to add that account into our metamask okay so the way we'll do this is we will say const account equal to web3 dot eth so it's eth and then accounts dot create okay so this is going to create a brand new account and then once we do that we're going to log this account so i say console dot log my new account and then we'll say account all right and this is going to give us the account address and also the private key and this is what we need to put our account into metamask okay so from here we're going to save that and then we're going to go ahead and run this so the way we'll do this is we're going to say no server.js then we hit enter and here we go so it says my new account and then we have our account address and then our account's private key make sure that nobody gets this private key this private key is very important that's why it's called private keep it to yourself um, don't do what i'm doing here and actually showing it to you guys because i'm not going to use this account this is just a you know a tester so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this private key okay and then i'm going to go back to our browser i'm going to go back over here to where it says metamask i'm going to click on that and then we're going to go and click on the icon in the top corner i'm going to say import account and then we're going to leave it on private key and then we're going to paste in that private key and click import so as you can see now we have imported this account so if we go back to our code here we see that it's was that one eeb so if we go back to metamask we can see that it is one eeb so this is that account so now we have our account in metamask and if you go to any web3 site you'll be able to use this account in there so we'll probably do something like that later where we're actually using the accounts and you know we'll probably build out a front end and actually you know do some more fun stuff but right now i just wanted to give you guys an intro to web3 since we haven't done anything on this channel uh in regards to the you know the whole cryptocurrency scene that's it for this one i subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next video